Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as I mentioned before more than one time, we are in Saxony and in Saxony there's no mountains at all. As I said, or there's actually there's some of them but they are so far away from my house. Last time as I am doing my last long exposure video, I found a small mountain. I, I'm not sure if I can call it a mountain actually because it's so small. I, I guess something between two and three kilometers. But I was I was shocked actually at the beginning. I, I saw this small mountain and I, I was in my car and I was like, what? <laughs> a mountain? And I went through this street here. I went through this street and I went all the way to the end to see what is that because this is, this is the first time I see it actually and I found some interesting spots actually um, as I said it's it's not so small and it's not big but there's a lot of hidden areas man can find a lot of things uh, that's why I don't know actually where to go there's a lot of small baths you know I am addicted to small baths um, uh, every something like two or three hundred meters uh, walking I find like this small bath for example and <clears throat> you know we are in spring uh, all the beautiful colors started to show up the green color some of the uh, trees are still white and you know I don't know actually where to go I'm just searching for anything that catch my eye but I, I'm, I'm really I'm really excited because as I said I, I I haven't made I think I haven't made any YouTube video in any mountain <laughs> and and yeah I'm, I'm excited to try you know to find something here so as you can see this is exactly where I parked my car and I went through this way here and the end of the mountain is this area here but as you can see right here this all small white paths are you know path you can walk through and that's why there's a lot of places actually to go or to walk in and now i am exactly right here talking about gears i i didn't restrict it myself with anything today i have the 10 20 millimeter lens the ultra wide to wide angle and i have the 15 millimeter lens which is connected now, which is attached now to the camera because I think I think I will start with it. You know, spring photos, woodland photos, I always prefer to start with the 50mm lens and I always have the 70, 300mm lens. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it because there's no big spaces. It's I'm surrounded with trees, you know, I, I, and I don't, I don't think I will need that ultra zoom range or ultra zoom lens so this is the first photo here i want to i want to try it actually i'm, I'm not sure if it's going to work i i just like these leaves here which are coming inside the frame and at the same time this small stair and the most important thing is that there's no sky I, I, I don't want to include the sky I'm going to try something like that if I want to take it with a 50mm lens let's say something like that or maybe I will try with a 10-20mm lens I, I will try I will try and see what I will like more Let's try the first thing, the 50mm lens. I'm not sure if I'm going to use or if I'm going to need any tripod if I want to use the 50mm lens and try with small f number. But if I don't like it and I want to use the 10-20mm lens then obviously I will go to f9, something like that and using a tripod, CBL filter. Even with a 50 millimeter lens, I want to use a CBL filter actually. 
I need more space. So this is the first photo, as you can see, I, I ended up right here. I'm using the 50mm lens, CBL filter, and I was trying to use this as, you know, out of focus foreground or something like that. And the path in the background. So here is another try of the same composition I'm using right now the 10 20 millimeter lens at 20 and I still need I still need actually to crop it because ah, I don't want to show as I said I, I don't want to show the sky that's why I may I think I will crop it like that and yeah I will I will show you the both photos actually with the 50 millimeter lens and with the 10 20 millimeter lens and yeah I don't know which one I will like more actually my intention actually today from coming here in the spring is to find any you know any tree any composition with a lot of white flowers telling you that this photo was taken in spring but till now I, I, I can't find anything like that I'm still searching actually um, maybe I, I had to come something like two weeks ago two, three weeks ago there were more I think there were more white colors, white flowers on the trees. But I hope I will continue searching. I hope I will find anything like that. So as you can see right here, I reached the top of the mountain and this is the area which is on the top. And I started to be a little bit disappointed actually because I couldn't find what I was searching for. As you can see, you can, you can find some white flowers, but, but there's no composition that can be taken. And now the, the other uh, half, or let's say the other side of the, of the mountain right here, because I, I came from that path and I wanted to try to walk a little bit here from the other side of the mountain to see if I can find anything. I hope, <laughs> I hope I can find anything. I I'm thinking actually of this exactly at the beginning from the, as I said, the other side. There's unfortunately no white flowers, but I, I feel, I feel uh, this is interesting how it's making like a small gate and the bus here is going through. Um, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Most of you know that I am not a big fan of handheld photos, but in this one here, I, I, I like it. I, as I said, I'm using the, the both branches like a um, small gate, let's call it a small gate. And at the same time, I decided to try to use this branch here as a foreground, like the first photo, as an out of focus foreground. And I think, I think it, I think it works actually. I, 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 I think I like it. So I'm using f2.8, 125 of the second, handheld with a CBL filter. 125 of the second. It's good for me actually. I, I don't have any shaky, any shaky photo. The photo is sharp. I, as you can see, I'm trying more than one possibility. I, I won't lie, actually, I started to be, I started to be a little bit disappointed because as I was planning to come here, 
my, my thought was I will find a lot of beautiful spots, I will find a lot of beautiful things. But the fact that the the how can I say the, the, the chaotic areas which are surrounding me are a lot a lot more than the small details which are which are catching my eyes. And sometimes I find a small detail catches my eyes and but I don't know how to compose it because it's surrounded, it's surrounded with a lot of chaotic areas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But this is this is what I have. And I will continue searching a little bit. I'm I'm not I'm not going to make you any excited for a third photo. I'm not sure there will be any third photo. But uh yeah. Yeah. So let's finish this video with this photo here. With or with this tree. I like actually I like the, the as you can see the trunk is catching a little bit of sunlight and the green color I like the green color it's a little bit spring green color it's not like summer green color it's still fresh and and beautiful but I won't take the photo right here I actually saw the tree far away I was walking there and I, I was walking there and I, I saw the tree I, I just I just wanted to come here to to see the tree closely and I will go back and I will try to take the photo with the 7300 millimeter lens. I want to go back. I want to use the 7300 millimeter lens. I want to combine the scene to have the bath a little bit and the tree. I will go back and I will show you how I am thinking of taking the photo. So as you can see, let's say something like that so this is the tree which I was talking about and I will try to take the photo like that without including any sky only the fresh green color the trunk and now I'm zooming in with my video camera and it's only 70 millimeter but I, I want more I want to use the 7300 millimeter lens and I want to try to take the photo like that, something like that. So let's try that. So as you can see here is where I am standing. And uh, I'm using the 7300 millimeter lens with obviously CBA filter to show the beautiful green color and my setting are f11 120 of the second I am about I think 270 millimeter as I said CBL filter and I was using a timer to be sure that I will have a sharp photo So these were the three photos that I took today. I hope you like them. I hope you like the video. As, as you could see actually, coming to a new place without having any knowledge about this place, it's really so hard. Because you have to search from zero. It's not, not like, for example, having three spots, two or three spots, specific spots in your mind. You have to, you, you want to, to visit again to try different light situation, to try different time of the year. It will be uh, obviously easily, not like, or easier, not like coming without having any plan, without knowing where to walk. And yeah, you know, but I think, I think actually this place worth coming again when it's autumn, in the middle of autumn, when there will be a lot of yellow color and orange color. I, I think I will give it a try in autumn. Let's say, for example, in, in September or in October, I think I have to try to come here again. Yeah. So thanks a lot for watching. 
please consider subscribing if you are not already. I hope you like the video. I hope you like the photos. And see you in the next video. Bye.